day ended with a bit of a bang and uh, it was a bit of a downer way to end the day, but you know, we're back at it on Sunday and uh, just had practice and the car feels really good. On the way back into the pits though, um, I went to put it in neutral and it was stuck in first, so I was able to get it going again, drove around the pits and shifts. Can't find reverse, but you don't drive backwards, so it's not a big problem on the racetrack. So hopefully the transmission is fine for the day. It's basically Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will, and uh, yeah, this car's got, uh, it was a good deal, but it's uh, got lots of problems. So well, anyways, we're sorting it out slowly. I guess this year is kind of the sort the car out year. <laughs> Um, but you know when it's running it's fast so at least at least that part's good So we're gonna have one race before lunch today, and that's coming up in about another half an hour So we're just kind of checking oil checking tire pressures making sure everything's good to go and be out there again Just rotating some tires. The uh, Toyo R Triple Eight R's are holding up really, really well. They're a pretty soft tire, and I thought they would wear really quickly, but they've been really, really good. So lots of grip, and they're durable too. So I'm super happy with those tires. Um, they're, I haven't tried them in the rain yet, but I think they'd probably be okay there too. So I'm just gonna do that. Check the brakes. Make sure everything's working. Uh, we finished the first race and it was pretty good started third and ended third uh, But it was basically like three cars bumper to bumper for the first eight or ten laps and the Me in second place uh, Clint started squabbling quite a bit and ended up giving uh, Al a little bit of uh, breathing room, but uh, he's probably about a second up the road at the end um, but I'm hoping to uh, have a good scrap with Alex. I think I think my car might be a, a hair faster than his so you know at the very least I can uh, give him a hard time it's uh, it's a little tough to get by it just seems like we're Al and Clint are fast I'm a little bit slow and then we're Al and Clint are slow I'm a bit fast so I'm catching up in spots but it's like just not quite enough to like send one up the inside like I'm, I'm catching in the braking zones but not quite enough to to go right in so uh, and also after yesterday's big accident you know we're playing a little safer you know just that's enough for one weekend. Between races, just checking brakes, make sure there's some good life on the pads. We run Hawk Blues. Um, and also there's a little trick. You can uh, just open the bleeder screw on the front here and uh, just gravity bleed the system a bit. So any bubbles in the system will end up kind of in this area and you just open that up and the air will just come out and dribble out a little bit of fluid. And it's a real super easy way just to keep your brakes real solid uh, it doesn't replace like a full bleed but it's like you know you do your bleed at the shop and this is just like a little trackside maintenance to make sure your brake pedals nice and firm all the time another little issue that we're uh, nursing on this car is the transmission was working fine in the pits but I couldn't get reverse uh, which is why I'm parked the other way so I could just drive out I don't need to re back out uh, but did the first race again no problem and then came into the pits and reverse is working again so I don't know if it's like a shift selector thing or something, but I mean the transmission was out uh, for the frame repair. So, you know, you start ripping a bunch of stuff out and putting it back together, you know, maybe even twice. Uh, it kind of creates the opportunity for, you know, little issues. And, and it also could just be some things like just not quite happy in there, like a shim in the wrong place or something minor, it doesn't take much. But uh, I'm hoping that it's just, you know, works for the rest of the day and sort it out in the shop instead of uh, I mean if it, if it uh, seizes up or something again I mean we're not fixing that out here it's too much work and not enough time
So the second race of the day was going pretty well. I was fighting for second place and giving Al a hard time. Uh, then I noticed I kept missing shifts in turn eight, which uh, doesn't normally happen. The two, three shift was sometimes just not going through. Um, and then on my last lap of that race, uh, I just couldn't find a gear. Everything I did was just grinding, and every every gear I tried to use was just grinding everywhere. So normally in first, you know, it's like to the left and up. But if you look here, cars in neutral here, right? That's what you think. It's loose, but it's actually in first. So there's no neutral anymore. Just like no matter where you put it, you're in first. Um, so. Obviously that's a park it. Uh, sounds like a shifter fork, which isn't a big deal uh, to fix. It's not like the transmission needs to be rebuilt or anything. It's a, a space with a selector fork, so it's not a major part. But I'm not gonna do the last race and I DNF the second race. So that's sort of two weekends in a row of uh, not a lot of racing and a lot of problems. But um, I'm kind of running out of stuff to break, I think. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, that's it for this weekend. So let's pack it up and take it back to the shop and see you in July.